John Burr, during your, your experience with Horace Silver, how did he communicate uh, what he wanted from you? You know, he, he didn't say a lot um, most of the time. It, most of the, uh, the, the feedback and um, exchange and uh, sharing uh, came from the other guys. Um, he, he did say a few things, you know, from time to time. I mean, I, you know, I had mentioned before, uh, you know, his suggestion about the digging in, what, what that really involves, you know, for a bass player. Um, but uh, there, is, <laughs> there is one thing that happened. We were in uh, Ronnie Scott's in London, and uh, we're playing Sister Sadie. And uh, it's not usually a tune where there was a, a, a bass solo, you know. But uh, Horace elected to give me a bass solo one night, and uh, he turned around and he says, Walk! <laughs> and I had never <laughs> tried to play a walking bass solo before, I mean, like ever. And, uh, of course, there's a, a rich tradition in jazz of the walking bass solo. But it showed me that uh, I had to really be aware of melodic construction in my bass lines. I mean, I learned that kind of after the fact. Um, you know what do you do with eight bars or 16 bars of G7? You know, that became a core challenge, which is now, you know, one of the core aspects of my own teaching. 